Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to set up Google Play parental controls on your Android phone. This app is a good basic parental control app that will help you to filter and control the content on your child's device. However, it is limited to Google Chrome browser. So if your child has any other browsing platforms such as Opera, Firefox or Safari, then the family link controls won't work on them. That's why I would actually recommend getting our FamiSafe app instead, as FamiSafe goes further and includes a lot more features to help keep your family safe. For now though, let me guide you through setting up parental controls on Google Play. The Google Play Store has built-in parental controls which help filter out apps and games. So let's go through how to set up these handy controls on your child's phone. Open up the Google Play app, then click on your child's profile menu in the top right corner. Select settings, then family, and then toggle parental controls to on. Choose a pin and tap OK. Now you can go through each of the sections to choose an age setting that is appropriate for your child. In order to set up age restrictions on Google Play, we need to open up the Family Link app. Choose your child's profile, tap on Content Restrictions, then tap on Google Play. Then we can choose the age range that is suitable for apps, movies, TV and books that are actually available on Google Play Store. If you want to disable all Google Play purchases on your phone, open up the Google Play Store on your phone and tap on your profile picture. Tap on settings and then authentication. Then click on require authentication for purchases and choose for all purchases. Then tap on OK. You can disable Google Play purchases on your child's phone remotely using the Google Play and Family Link integration. Open up the Google Play Store on your phone and tap on your profile picture. Tap on Settings, now tap on Family, select Manage Family Members and choose your child's profile. Tap on Purchase Approvals, choose the setting you're comfortable with. Then click on Require Authentication for Purchases and choose for all purchases. Then tap on OK. You can easily block certain apps on Google Play even if your child uses them. Open up the Family Link app on your phone, tap on your child's profile, tap Controls at the bottom of the screen, then tap App Limits. Tap on the app that you want to restrict, select whether to block, set a limit, or always allow. You'll see a little egg timer next to the app now with a little limit underneath. Whenever your child downloads an app, it will normally ask for permission to access their account information. Most of the time, it's just for their name and email address. But sometimes there are apps that try to get as much information out of the users as possible, and that can cause privacy concerns. And this is how you can easily restrict it. Open up the Family Link app on your phone, tap on your child's profile, tap Controls at the bottom of the screen, then tap Account Settings. Tap on Controls for third-party apps. You can select whether to be asked permission every time or allow your child to sign into apps that only request the basic information. Tap on Manage third-party apps access in order to review what apps have access to your child's account details. Tap on an app to see what access they have. Tap on remove access if you find that it's not an app that you want, having access to your child's account details. If you need to get rid of the parental controls on Google Play, here's how you do it. Open up Google Play Store on your child's phone and tap on their profile picture. Tap on settings and then family. Then click on Parental Controls and toggle the settings to off. Enter your PIN and confirm. And that's it! Now, if you want to completely stop your kids from being able to access Google Play, then you're better off installing FamiSafe. Not only does FamiSafe have all of these features and restrictions, but it's not just limited to Google products. FamiSafe also includes many other features not included with Google's basic controls, such as social apps detection, explicit content detection, TikTok history, and for teens, the brilliant driving report. 
It also monitors Google Play apps as well as all browsers, including Chrome, so there's no need to set up and monitor multiple browsers. I'll include the link in the description for you to check it out. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, then drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let us know that you like it by pressing the like and don't forget to press the bell so that you get notified of all upcoming content. Thanks for following along and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.